It's here, the spooky time of year when spiders come out. I've already made some polymer clay and bead spiders. Today we're going to make spiders with only pipe cleaners. And they're very effective. What do you think? Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. I'm into making spiders for the Halloween season. And somebody asked me, you know, you made polymer clay spiders, but can I make a spider without polymer clay? Yes, you can. In fact, I came up with a spider that all you'll need is one product, which is pipe cleaners. Now I'm using black today, but if you ever research into spiders, they come in a variety of colors and purples and pinks and oranges. They can be very vibrant. Today, I'm going to the Halloween black so I'm going to start by taking four pipe cleaners and I'm just going to fold them in half so that the two ends meet up. This is creating your eight legs for the spider. I'm not going to worry too much about this part and I'm going to fold in or twist a couple inches in. This determines how long your legs are going to be on your spider and I'm just going to come in oh, about two, three inches and I'm just twist. Twist probably two, three times. One, two, three. That's what it looks like now. And I'm going to pull these together in the back and I'm going to use my thumb and just curl down. Pretty simple. See that? That brings them together a little bit and then I'm going to fan out these legs. There's going to be eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you end up with two here. Now you can see that some of the lengths are a little bit different and that's okay because you can come back through and bend the little feet around. But I want the two in front to be just a little shorter. It's where the spider comes out and uses his little grabbers. What I'm doing is I'm gonna tuck this little tail in just a little bit so that spider has a bulbous back end. Oh, creepy. And then for these two in front, I'm going to give them just a couple of twists and then I'm going to fold it back in on itself. And what I'm doing there is I'm making the head. So you've got the head, the little thorax area, the bulbous back, and you've got these legs sticking out. And the two in front now are a little bit shorter. So I'm going to bend them up like this spider is going to be grabbing something. Then I'm going to bend down his feet and you can make him, his feet as curled up as you want. You can add more bending depending on what the spider's doing. And this one was looking kind of flat, I see. But I can curl up his back just a little more and push up on it and end up with a more bulbous back, which is what I'm going for. And it probably already futz with him too much because look at we have our spider. And he didn't turn out quite as fat as I wanted him to. So you know what? No bother because that is a pretty good looking spider. And we're going to go put him over on the web. Ooh, look at him upside down even. Oh, okay. So he's over on the web. I'm going to take four more. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to fancify this one up just a little bit. I'm going to add some eyeballs. So here we go. We're just going to fold the pieces so the eight legs meet up. I'm going to give two or three inches there. I'm actually going to come a little farther this time because I want a little less of a back end. I want a little more legs. So I'm coming in, oh, one, two, maybe three inches. Giving a couple twists. And now I'm going to take my fingers back and use my thumb just to roll that back end in. And that puts a natural bend on it, see? And now I'm just going to start pulling the legs back. Yeah, I like spiders, but <laughs> this is kind of creepy. <laughs> Five, six. Now, see this one, because I came back a little farther, his legs are a little longer. See? He's a little more menacing. Then I'm going to, again, twist the front two a few times, and then I'm going to push that back on itself and come forward again. So I end up with a little head area. 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a couple of eyeballs right there, a couple of beads. So this project doesn't need any glue at all, but if you want to make them just a little creepier, I've got two little teeny little beads here. Now, if you wanted to get realistic, you'd put eight little beads there, but this one's going to be a, just a titch friendlier. And I'm going to put just a little bit of glue, a little tiny bit of glue. Oh, that's way too much, but that's okay. We'll run with it. A little bit of glue, and I gotta be careful you don't get burned. And just drop those beads and let it sit on the glue. The glue ends up bulbing up a little bit and it kind of gives it a, a more of a head. And we let that cool, and just punch it a little bit. And after it cools, ooh, I touched it. You don't wanna touch it or you end up getting threads which actually could be a part of his, his web. But now, after that cools, I'm gonna shape the legs just a little bit. Now you could have them come way up. See, it's just whatever you think goes. I like them when they're flat or out, like he's waiting in the web for something to come along. And to hook him to the web, I'll show you that in a moment. I put just a little bend in the end of his legs. The front two are gonna be shorter, but a little bit of bend. You see now? Oh, you've got a whole different spider just with a little bit of extra in there. And the here front, I want to make those a little shorter. I'm going to give them a snip. So I've got two little shorter legs and I'm going to pull them up like he's going like that. I don't know if they make that noise, but <laughs> okay. So now you've got a spider that's just a little more fancy and let's attach him to the web. Oh, spiders everywhere. I made these webs on a previous episode, and the link for that is right here. So when you get the web done, you take your spider and just put him someplace in it. And using his little legs and the pipe cleaner, just, you don't even have to hook all of them, but just grab a few spots and hook those legs under the yarn, and he will stay in place. Don't need a lot of them, just a few. That's one cool thing about spiders. They're always moving and changing positions. And that's probably why we all go, eh, when we see one. And there you go, a simple spider. You don't even need glue unless you want to use it. I don't know, does he look creepy enough? And there you have it. A very simply made spider for a very spooky occasion. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I've made so many of these spiders. I feel like they're getting, getting closer. See you again.